Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Go Through Support Channel. Today, we're diving into one of our coolest features in Virtual Tour Editor, the Link Pano Hotspot. The Link Pano Hotspot is one of the most useful hotspots you can add to your overlay. With this feature, you can link panoramas, allowing viewers to move from one room to another with just a click. All right, first things first. Let's create a regular hotspot template using the pin marker for our drag and drop panel link. To create a hotspot, go to Plugin Manager by clicking the plus button in the top left of your overlay editor screen and selecting hotspot. And just like that, a white marker appears right in the middle of the active panorama. The first time you create a hotspot, it'll use the default marker, but we're going to change the content to a pin marker to make it more awesome. Just click the settings icon on the hotspot, go to the hotspot content tab, and in the marker tab, choose the marker you prefer. I'm going with the pin marker here because, well, who doesn't love a good pin marker? You can also adjust the marker size to your liking. Easy, right? Now we have a link pano hotspot template with a pin marker. Let's drag and drop a pano to create the pano link. Go to the panorama list tab or use the P shortcut on your keyboard. Under the map box, you'll see the list of all panoramas in the constellation. Select and drag a pano from the list to the active panorama. I'll start with the living room. And look, like magic, we have two hotspots, one for going forward and one for going back. If the position isn't quite right, just move the hotspot around a bit. Then set the direction of landing by clicking on settings, selecting the pop-up content tab, and in the Pano Link tab, click the target icon, choose the active Pano, and adjust the landing direction as you like. When you're satisfied, double-click anywhere on the active Pano to apply the changes. Now, we set the other hotspot. Try clicking it again and boom, perfect. Oh, and you can name each panel link to make things clearer. Just go to the pop-up content tab and in the hotspot title section, you can rename or add a description. For example, I'll name this one living room and the one behind it front door. Once you're done with the first Pano Link hotspot, you can delete the first hotspot template we created. Don't worry, the settings are saved and will automatically apply to the Pano Link hotspot we just made. For the second hotspot, we'll link to bedroom. Repeat the process. Drag the bedroom panorama, drop it onto the active panorama, adjust the position, set the landing direction, and rename it Bedroom. Don't forget to set the other hotspot. Look at that. Our virtual tour is now more beautiful and interactive with the Link Pano Hotspot plugin. Your visitors will feel like they're exploring a whole new world, and this experience will surely captivate them. And that's our quick tutorial on how to use the Link Pano Hotspot plugin. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. See you in the next video.